Past Lives is a drama romance film that came out in theaters back in June. It had a very limited theater release, and I didn't get to check it out in theaters. It's now available to check out on Blu-ray. And what did I think about this film? Because a lot of people have been giving this film a lot of praise. And do I fit on that side, or do I fit on the opposite side of the fence? Well, let's talk about it. <laughs> Nora and Hae Sung, two deeply connected childhood friends, are wrestled apart after Nora's family immigrates from South Korea. Twenty years later, they are reunited for one fateful week as they confront notions of love and destiny. The film stars Greta Lee, Tae Yu, and John Magaro, and was directed by Celine Song, and this is her directorial debut. For months now, I've been hearing about past lives, I've seen the advertisements, and I've heard a lot of good rave reviews about this film. I've said it on my channel before, and I will say it again, that A24, they have two sides to them. They have an artsy side where they have a lot of horror films and a lot of strange things that they do in their films. And then they have the human nature side, and this falls on the human nature side. And I love that category of diving into a film because you really get to kind of relate to certain things in your life. And with this film, it definitely gravitated towards me in a certain instance in my life. You follow Nora and Hae Sung, and they are childhood friends. They are both 12 years old, living in Korea. And one day, Nora's parents decide that they are going to immigrate. And we see them actually go to Toronto. And eventually, we see Nora actually go to New York, where she is working as a playwright and following her father's footsteps. We later find out that Hae Sung, he is looking for Nora and he actually posts on her father's movie that he's working on trying to find Nora but not knowing that she had changed her name from her Korean name to an American name. Hey Sung, we find out that he is actually in the military and apparently in Korea you have to serve in the military at a certain age, which I did not know that. So that was very interesting about the film. And Nora actually reaches out to Hey Sung and sends him a little message and they eventually have a Skype conversation and for months on end and years on end, they start to form that bond again and he admits that he has feelings for her, he has this connection for her they start to love and bond and really miss each other and then they start to ask questions of okay when are you going to come to Korea and she's like well when are you going to come to New York and they have separate lives that they're really working on where these kinds of distractions of them talking back and forth because the time zones are so different it distracts them from their current life and what they're trying to do he actually wants to go to China and he wants to learn Mandarin and then she is working on scripts and other things that she's doing in her life. And it's become a distraction. And they eventually split and part ways. And they don't talk for a while. And we see both of their lives and how they're really just kind of moving on in life. And we see where the man, he is struggling through different girlfriends. He has some confidence issues. I can definitely tell that he is a man that... He is a single child and he lives like an ordinary life as he mentions in this film and he has trouble really trying to settle down and actually get married where you have Nora who kind of seems like she has a little bit more together and she seems like she's knowing what she's going to do and going for the gusto. So you have two different characters here that they have certain goals for themselves, but I think there's some confidence issues more so towards the male versus the woman here who kind of just goes for it and she kind of becomes successful throughout life. Now, as far as this story being very relatable in my life, I'll tell you guys a little bit of story background as to why this film is relatable to me. Now, taking out the immigration portion, my story has some similar things that happen in this film. For instance, I actually moved from Maryland to Florida, and when I moved to Florida, I had no friends whatsoever. I started to talk to people in chat rooms at the age of 13. I know at 13 you shouldn't be doing that, but you know, that was the thing to do, talk in the AOL chats, and I actually met a girl where I started chatting with her. We had a lot of good conversations, we started texting, and we formed a bond, a friendship, 
and we had a little bit of a love connection. I can't deny that back at that age, we talked for many years and we still talk to this day. And eventually, back in 2015, I actually got to meet her for the first time, which was really something very special. She is the longest person that I've ever known in my entire life, now at 21 years. And we've really watched each other really just progress and change throughout life. We've gone through a lot of different relationships. We've seen hardships that we both have. And, you know, we've gone through a lot of different struggles. And in this film, I could definitely see where characters, they had those struggles, what they're doing in their life, their relationship status, what are they doing to progress in their life. And that's really where this film, it really relates to me. I had someone that, you know, I really was really in love with at that time. And, you know, I really wish the best for her. I'm very happy in my life currently with my wife. But she really made me grow as a person. And I think this film, with these two characters, they really make each other grow as well. And so I say with love, it's kind of a complicated thing because sometimes you can meet someone and they have a big impact on your life. You can be friends, you could have that love and that bond for each other, but you may not have that loving relationship where you get married and you get hitched to each other. And that's where this film, it really ties into what I'm saying about the relation towards my relationship with this said person. There is a really big emphasis on memories here. And, you know, I say all the time and look back on things that I did when I was 12 years old. And these two characters, you know, they're holding on to memories when they were 12 years old. You know, you have so many things that you do as you grow up and as you age, you know, 20 years later when they're actually meeting up after not seeing each other since they were 12 years old, I mean, that is tough. You've grown as a person, you've changed as a person, you know, you're not 12 years old in school anymore. And this film, the way that it touches on memories and the way that it just shapes how we think as individuals and how we hold on to certain memories where we just can't get out of the, the rut of, of the certain happy times that we had during those times. You know, that stuff is being brought up here. There is a scene in here where they have a merry-go-round. And this is in New York, by the way. And that merry-go-round, it really represents how these two characters, they're really going around and round in circles. They know that they've always had this love for each other. They care about each other. But where they're at in their lives, it's just not meshing up altogether. They have different dreams, different aspirations. They're in different places. So even if they were going to get together, how are they going to make that happen? And who is going to make the move? And that's where long distance relationships and things in life, as you grow, you change as a person, you change interest. And that's where this film, it really dives into all those kinds of aspects of life. The cinematography for this film, it is shot so beautifully. I love the shots in New York. I love the Statue of Liberty shots. There is one scene, and I'll tell you about my favorite scene of the camera work that's done. So the shot, it actually shows a bridge. The shot actually goes from right to left. The characters, they are actually zoomed out in the camera, and they're probably, like the shot is probably shot maybe like 30 yards away, something like that, maybe a little bit further. And the characters are walking, they're talking about their lives, and the camera just runs from right to left, and they're walking down like a sidewalk. So the camera eventually catches up to them, and then the shot actually goes down this embankment, like this little walkway, and then we get to go to this dock where you have the water, you have another bridge, and you have the whole New York City of like all the buildings. And then if you look across the waterway, you see the merry-go-round going round and round. It's absolutely beautiful. There's tons of different shots in here of New York that I actually really enjoyed. I've never been to New York, but I really loved all the different shots that they actually put in this film. There's other shots too, and I'm not sure if it was shot in Korea at all, but there are other shots where they have like buildings and stuff. 
And I did like that because it had this different architectural structure to it, which I did really enjoy. And I think if there's any type of cinematography award for this year of a film, this film definitely deserves it. And to elaborate even further, I like that in between scenes, there's certain points where there's no dialogue going on. They have a little bit of nature shots. And they'll also have this soothing kind of music, which I did appreciate because it definitely relaxes you throughout this film. And the music throughout is very relaxing, but then there's also music in here where it's very melancholy, and that really relates to the characters as to what they're going through. I think acting-wise, I think both characters here, they do a really good job, but you have two different characters here. You have the male that is a little bit more chill, and then you have the woman that's a little bit more spunky they aren't like really fiery kind of characters you know they kind of are just sitting back just having this ride with you know their lives and just trying to figure out what they should both do for both themselves and maybe for some people that really isn't something very exciting but this is a movie where I really did appreciate where two characters they are just trying to figure out their lives and they're kind of lost in the limbo and i really do appreciate that this film it dives into you know different kinds of cultures and how they handle love and they also talk about different things in here where they have this thing called in young where they talk about past lives and how you have all these different lives where you know you could be meeting different people and different kinds of past lives and it's kind of like a way of seducing like the other person as Nora describes it and I like that we have that little bit you know I don't know anything about Korean love or how they really explore that so it was just really cool to actually really dive into their heads and dive into a cultural thing that they actually believe the only negative that I can say about this film that I did not like and I won't tell you exactly what happens because in the beginning of the film, they actually give away a little bit of where this story is going, which I didn't really like that they started that off with the film. I'd rather them just kind of go into the story a little bit before actually showing us towards the end as to what's going to happen. So that is a big negative, and I will keep it at that with no spoiler. A score of this film, I would give it a four and a half out of five. I think it's an excellent movie. I really did enjoy this. And like I said, I had a big relation to this film. And I think that's where this film, it really thrived for me. For some people, they may just not really understand this love between these two individuals and really may not understand where they're really at in life. And I can understand where people, they may not really like this film. And again, it's not a film where it may always have something really going on. For some people, it may feel kind of boring, but I really did enjoy this film. I think they capture both individuals very well. And I really did enjoy myself. And I bought a copy on Blu-ray and I've watched it twice now. So I have really enjoyed this film. But let me know in the comments, what did you think about Past Lives? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you just think it was kind of meh? Thank you guys for watching. If you have not watched this film yet, are you going to check it out now on Blu-ray or digital? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys on my next review.